Hey, this is Michael with Irwin Power LLC, and I'm going to show you new guys how to wire up a condensing unit, which I'm doing right here. We have our disconnecting means on the wall. It's not directly behind the unit, so we're not violating our working space requirements for the disconnecting means. Now it can be disconnected and serviced when someone needs to come out here and turn the power off without having to have access inside the house. Here we have our liquid tight, flexible, non metallic conduit and there's no metal uh, conduit inside of this um, outer rubber uh, layer you see here um, you can get it with added protection liquid type flexible metallic conduit which is a different wiring method but is uh, much harder um, so we got our weatherproof wiring method here there's no neutral required so we have our two hot wires in the ground coming in it's going to be a 240 volt unit um, one end of my whip comes into the unit here and one is going to go into this disconnect at the bottom so once you come into the unit here here's our contactor here's the con set of contacts right here at the bottom you can see where our two hot conductors are going to be terminated one here and one here and then the contactor has its own wiring leads going to where the power is needed inside the unit. Our ground is going to come over here to our ground lug. There's our ground symbol. And uh, that is it. It's pretty straightforward with regard to these outside condensing units and the inside condensing units. So no neutral required out here. Um, you can get all the information you need on the name plates below. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Visit our website at erwinpowerllc.com. We'll catch you on the next one.